What's up everyone? Welcome to Buzzy Games. Buzzy Games back here. Today let's learn how to make an obby game. So if this is your first game ever, you know, in Roblox Studio and this is your first kick at it in creating a game, creating an obby is perfect. So essentially an obby is short for obstacle and an obstacle course or um, if you are familiar with parkour, then the objective of the game is to get from point A to point B through a variety of jumps. So in any obby or parkour game, you gotta make sure that you have a starting point. So I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a spawn location, which indicates that this is my starting point. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create some sphere jumps for my first level. And when you're creating your first obby, go ahead and play around with the colors, you know, with the properties of it. Maybe if you want it, you know, can collide, or maybe can collide is off, can collide is on. But one thing to take note of is to always make sure that you're anchoring your parts because if you don't anchor them, then they'll just fall to the ground when you click play. So one tip for you guys um, that I love to do when I'm making a game is always test, play test your game after each stage to make sure that each jump is completable. Because if you don't really play test you know, your game as you're developing, um, you might run into bigger problems later down the road if you don't catch them early on. Cool, so it seems like this stage works just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another part which signifies or tells me that this is the end of stage one. Now in an obby, there's really no right or wrong way to create your game or honestly in any game that you decide to make. You know, in game development, as long as you're enjoying the entire process of it, that's what matters the most. So, you know, don't compare your experience to someone else's experience. Um, you know, everybody starts somewhere. All right, let's get back to it. I'm creating a pretty simple stage. The next stage is going to be jump up. It's going to consist of a few parts, and then I'm just going to stagger them, rotate them a bit so that they don't look even, and then I'll be changing the colors of it. So. Creating an obby as your first game is really cool because you create a foundation for it and then you can add on top of it. So what I mean by this is you can create kill bricks, you can create a conveyor, falling bricks, you know, elevators. It's There's so many things that you can add onto your game rather than it just being like a basic one like I'm making. And you know, eventually over time, you'll be able to script these kill bricks and so on and so forth. And then you'll be able to create a pretty neat obby game. Roblox does have an obby template that you guys can use. So if you ever want to open that up and maybe just add in a few parts of your own, definitely do that. It's very good practice. And then of course, as always, anchor your parts and then play test your game as however many possible. And then feel free to publish it and then share it to your friends. As always, have fun creating. Give us a like, comment, and a subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.